Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion, and the fit for this video is the Animaniacs. Let's take a look at a video. Guys, NASA has done research on the crucifixion of Christ. This is crazy. When I first saw this, I was like, hold on, got a fact check, and I did. This is crazy. All right, let's see it. In Matthew 27, 45, it says, from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all of the land. This was as Jesus was on the cross. So this would be about noon to 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. The synoptics all record that Jesus was crucified at 9 a.m. and there was darkness over the land from noon to 3 p.m. and it was about 3 p.m. when Jesus died. The Gospel of John says that Jesus wasn't crucified until around noon and never mentions any darkness. Now, if you Google when scholars think Jesus died, they believe it was April 3rd, 33 AD. Uh, no, we don't. There was a partial solar eclipse that has been recorded by NASA.gov, guys. This is not a religious site that records a partial solar eclipse, April 3rd, 33 AD in Jerusalem two hours and 50 minutes long. And Matthew said there's darkness for three hours. I mean, God confirms things all the time, but to have a site like NASA literally confirm this, and then the note on this part of the website is crucifixion of Christ, question mark. Happy Easter, y'all. He is risen. So there was no partial solar eclipse on that date, and the two images that this creator shared both explicitly refer to this as a lunar eclipse. So there would have been no darkness anywhere, because a lunar eclipse is when the shadow of the Earth is cast upon the moon, which is on the other side of the Earth from the sun. Here is NASA's information sheet on this particular eclipse. This would have been barely visible at all in Jerusalem, and they would have had to have been looking at the moon. And according to NASA's information, the greatest totality would have occurred at around 4.47 p.m. Jerusalem time. For a two hour and 50 minute eclipse, that means that this lunar eclipse, which did not cause any darkness anywhere, wouldn't even have started until after Jesus was dead, according to the Synoptic Gospels.